hi guys welcome back to my channel again so today i have come up with another placement series video and uh, today the company which i am going to share with you is infosys interview so i am going to share with you my personal interview experience and what were the questions that were asked from me and how did i answer those questions and how like i got the selection mail from infosys after my completion of interview so everything i'm going to discuss in this video so before starting this video i'm going to ask for for a two minutes time from you just like share and subscribe to my channel so that i can come up with such new videos every day so now starting off my video is like the as you can see that the designation or the role for which I sat for Infosys is the system engineer and uh, the package was 3.6 LPA per year and uh, the duration of interview was 20 minutes. It was taken on Google Teams uh, or Microsoft Teams and it was of 20 minutes of duration and both the HR and the technical interview was taken on the same day and on the same slot that is on this 20 minutes. So there were no separate interviews. There was only one interview. Okay, and so I am from a non-CS IT background, so my questions uh, like were taken from the non-CS only. A uh, few coding questions were uh, like the computer programming questions were there. But they also kept in mind that uh, I am not from an IT background, so that much uh, difficult level questions were not there. And also if you are from IT background, they don't ask you such question that you have like you can't answer those questions. No, it is just an interview. It's not a like hard and fast any uh, rule that you have to answer all the question. You, ha you have to be confident enough to in answer the question whatever you know from your basic idea. So now coming up to the questions that were asked from me. First, the question was introduce yourself. So I introduced myself as uh, like my name and my address and also my uh, like educational background. Okay, and whatever like I co I know the coding like C C programming, C C plus plus programming languages and what were my hobbies. Also, I answered like my family background. So you can answer like this way also. Okay, your short term goals, your long term goals. You can share with you. Uh, you can share with the interviewer in this interview yourself. Uh, like in this section but keep in mind it should not be like beyond uh, two minutes okay one uh, one minute 30 seconds to two minutes it should be now uh, after that he asked me to show my id show my id like he asked me to show a government id so i showed him the aadhar card next question that was asked from me i am a, a student of electrical engineering so he asked me that why do you choose electrical engineering like what was the goal behind it or why did you choose electrical now you are switching to an it industry why why this transition is happening so he asked me uh, about it so i answered that uh, at that time like uh, i got a motivation and you can answer in your own way right uh, like uh, i have got a, a motivation from my parents and at that time i liked solving circuits so you can answer in your own way and if you need uh, like the sample answers that I answered to the interviewer, please let me know in the comment section so that I can provide you the sample answers which I have prepared. Okay, so now next question where what, what are my strengths? So my strengths like I said that I am flexible and adaptable uh, when it comes to learning new things, right? So you can also answer in that way that, uh, like you are a punctual person dedicated towards your work. So like this you can answer this question. Now coming up with the fourth question, uh, he asked me that have you done any other course apart from the course curriculum like from apart from uh, studying core subjects of electrical engineering, have you done any other course uh, like uh, of coding or anything from any other online sites like Coursera, Udemy, NPTEL. So I, I answered him that yes, I have done few courses and it was also mentioned in my resume. So he asked me that what you have learned from those courses and uh, uh, like uh, uh, how much duration of the course was it. So he asked me everything about that course and I answered him. The next question was a very important question asked in every interview is final year project. So final year project you have to keep in mind you have to answer this question very very 
you know you can answer you have to answer this question in such a way that he or she gets it that yes you have done something not not just if it is a uh, like group project you have given everything to your teammates and they are uh, doing the project and you have, you have just memorized those things no you have to answer it in that way so uh, my final year project was like of il something related to power system so i answered him and the software which i was using so i uh, answered that also and he asked me that what was your role in your project so he wanted to know my role what was my work in that project so i i told him that uh, like i did the coding part in the project and also i i'm doing the you know ppt and the presentation part so i answered like that way next is your resume so this is also a very important key point so this resume you have to keep in mind whatever you are mentioning in resume your skills your certification courses your trainings internships everything you have to like have a complete knowledge it's it is not that that you have to make your resume attractive so you are mentioning all the points no you have should have you should have the proper knowledge of your resume of every points that you have put in your resume so you ask me about the courses that i have mentioned in my resume and uh, also uh, any training that i have done so it was there in my resume so you ask me regarding it like uh, how you have done the training in this pandemic situations it was online or offline or uh, what you have learned in that training so like this he asked me so please keep in mind that you see everything whatever you have mentioned in resume you should you have to be thorough with it, with it. okay now next was online or offline like he asked me like you prefer online or you prefer offline uh, mode of work or online education offline education so i uh, like uh, given the uh, i have said that see everything has its pros and cons so online also has some advantages as well as disadvantages offline also have some advantages the, uh, so then he asked me then what are the advantages of online you say online only then i said that uh the online education like you can um, study from the comfort of your house and there are also many courses which you can't do in offline mode it is in iit kharagpur or somewhere else delhi mumbai pune you can't visit everywhere to do those courses right so you can do that in online mode of education very easily very conveniently so i said that and he was quite satisfied with it then he said what were the disadvantages then i said there are not so, so many disadvantages yes some disadvantages are there like if you face any technical issues or you face any internet connection problem so there it become problem to you know uh, attend those courses and attend those classes rest you can manage everything so he was quite satisfied with it and he he was like uh, smiling and he said good good okay now the next question were hobbies how do you manage time like he asked me about my hobbies so i said what were my hobbies and he said then how do you manage your time to uh, you know do that hobby in spite of you are having your college then study then also the placement uh, examinations so i said about like how i manage my time i make a schedule i make a chart and i try to give everything proper uh, time uh, so that nothing is unbalanced in my life so i said it uh, like like that and next question was like i earlier only i said it is both tr plus hr interview so he asked me then uh, why do we hire you like what are your uh, strengths or what are your uh, advantages what are the advantages in yourself that we should hire you so this is also a very important question asked in every interview so i said that uh, you should hire me because i i think i have that capability that i can give something valuable to your company and also uh, like if you hire me uh, I, i have learned many things like when i was working in a project i know how to work as a team and to collaborate so this is undoubtedly a very important quality that i will bring to the table so he was quite satisfied with my answer and he said okay then what why uh, where do you see yourself in the next 5 years so this is also a very important question and please guys keep in mind you should not answer this question like i want to see myself as a hr or i want to see yourself in your place where you are sitting now after 5 years no you should not be so greedy guys no you should say that i want to learn i want to uh, you know uh, have gain my more experience i have to Uh, achieve more skill set for my bright future and after 5 years uh, so that i can uh, be in a role so that i can lead a team or uh, i i can be a valuable member of my team by helping them diligently and efficiently so like this you have to answer not you have you you should not show your greediness to them right 
then he asked from technicals few questions like oops concept as i said earlier in the vipro video also this oops concept is very important you should learn oops concept and he asked me poly, what is polymorphism what is inheritance and also real life example of these questions right polymorphism real life examples what are the inheritance what are the real life example of inheritance so you can easily google these questions and prepare before you sit for an interview but still if you face any problem uh, regarding the answers uh, i have uh, like in the description box i have uh, put the links from where i have studied like the geeks for geeks and the java t point so uh, like i put the description in the description box put you can go through these links check out those links and learn from them right okay so there were uh, last few two questions like the 15th question was like have your college reopened after pandemic so i said yes it has opened and my examinations are also going on and it is like full fledged college so he said okay then uh, last he said that he was quite satisfied by my interview and he said that any question and he was like smiling and i can from his body language i could make out that yes uh, there is a chances of me getting selected and he said any question then i asked him that what is the work culture and what is what will be the technology if i get placed in your company like uh, which technology i will be working on so he said that you know technology is advancing day by day and uh, you have to be like uh, uh, we work on java and all so if you if that technology uh, everyone is working then you will be also given that so uh, on the latest technology only you have to work so he said me about it and then i said okay uh, uh, it's uh, okay then he said okay then it is all from my side uh, no more questions uh, you can leave the meeting so it was all about 20 to 25 minutes on microsoft teams and trust me guys it was not so typical or not so hard interview as i said if you prepare a little bit you can easily crack it and after this interview after 15 to 20 days i received a mail from infosys that you have been hired and then your document verification will be starting soon so this was all about my interview experience so if you guys like my video please do like share and subscribe and next i will come up with another uh, company and my interview experience with that company as well thank you bye